boys and girls. Hello everybody. I hope you're all well and having a jolly time at home. We are having a bit of a gathering. The teddies, we're having a teddy party. We can't do that at the moment, but with the teddies we can. Now, we all are having a get together and we're having a chat. Um, this is Doggy and he would like to go out for a drink. So he's going to the kitchen and he's going to have a drink. So off he goes to the kitchen. Now Teddy wants to tell me something. Oh, Teddy would like a chat to her friends and she'd like to pass a message round. So she's going to tell something to the Teddy. We're going to wait for her to finish. Looks like the teddies are passing on some very important message I'm not really privy to. Oh, something the matter there with Lion. What's the matter, Lion? What is the matter? Come and tell us. Okay, Lion's got something to tell us. Now, Lion, you didn't sound very happy. Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay, Lion's raised a bit of an objection. Lion's just told me that something that went round the room wasn't very nice and it was about the curly doggy who's gone out for a drink. What's the matter, Lion? Mm. I think Lion doesn't like what Teddy said about the doggy, which is that he looks very shaggy and needs a haircut. Might be Lion needs a haircut as well. But Lion's a bit upset and says that isn't nice, it's lush and horror. Hmm, what do you say, Teddy, to that one? Oh, Teddy says, but it's true. It's true that Doggy looks a shamble and needs a haircut. Hmm, it is true, Teddy. But when Lion's right, we're not allowed to say that. We're not allowed... Teddy says that she would say it to Doggy's face and therefore even if she'd say it to Doggy's face and it's true why can't Teddy say it? Okay I'm going to explain Teddy it could be that you didn't know what you said was wrong um, and I hope that Doggy doesn't come back um, because we think and if he does come back we won't tell him okay right I'm going to explain what the matter is Okay, good Teddy, don't be upset. Well done, Lion. It, hang on one second. Oopsie, Doggy's back. Doggy's back. Hello, Doggy. You've got lovely hair. Very nice hair it is too. Hmm, okay, Doggy's back. Now, boys and girls, if you say something bad about somebody else, even if it's true, you mustn't do it. Loshan Hara is a very bad thing and we learn it in this week's Sedra because you can't say sorry for saying bad about somebody else. It's very difficult because in order to say sorry, you actually have to go up to the person and say, I said something horrible about you and that's not very nice. And what if you can't find the person or the person's moved away or you're too embarrassed? So you mustn't do that. Also, Lush and Hara is bad because we can do it over and over and over again. And God doesn't forgive. Hashem doesn't forgive sins that are done over and over and over again. If you say sorry, then you're meant to stop doing that. And we all tend to have a chatter, especially when we're in a lovely social group. And the third reason we shouldn't say terrible things is because it causes fights. So if Doggy would find out what Teddy said, there'd be a big fight 
and a bus stop. And we're not allowed to quarrel. Hashem, God doesn't like it when we fight. He wants us all to be the best of friends. So boys and girls, it's very tempting to get into a group and have a little huddle and say something horrible about somebody else. We mustn't do it. Hashem gets very cross and very angry and we don't want to annoy him. We want everyone to stay well and stay happy and be friends. So, boys and girls, when we do get back together, after all this social distancing, we must make sure we only say nice things about other people and not to gossip and not to chatter about other people. And if you do think somebody does need a haircut, you could actually go up and say, do you know what, doggy? Uh, I think we're going to take you to the barber. I think it's time for a haircut. Because we're looking a little bit shaggy. But I do think your best pal, Lion, won't agree. Bye-bye, everybody.